This galaxy, given the name Jade's GSC 14-0, is at a redshift of 14.32. The Webb telescope has stunned us yet again, this time by uncovering a galaxy so ancient it's forcing scientists to rethink long-held assumptions. Here are a whole bunch of objects that could be redshift 12. All right, well, let's confirm that. And so there became this sort of an effort to use spectroscopy. This single find is poised to shake up a lot of what we thought we knew. To understand how we got here, you have to jump back, not to the birth of the universe, but to 2022. Until then, the farthest galaxy humanity had ever captured was GNZ 11, revealed by the legendary Hubble Space Telescope. That sighting was once celebrated as a monumental achievement. Hubble, with its 2.4-meter mirror and remarkable engineering, had carried us across huge cosmic distances. But even its capabilities had boundaries. Then came the launch of the Webb Telescope. With a massive 6.5-meter mirror and instruments built to read the faint, stretched, infrared glow of the universe's earliest objects, Webb didn't just advance Hubble's legacy, it completely reset the scale. Among its first breakthroughs was a galaxy called Jade's GSZ-14-0. It became the most distant galaxy confirmed at the time, sporting a redshift of 14.32. Redshift is basically a measure of how far light has been stretched as space itself expands. The bigger the number, the older the signal. But soon after, another galaxy emerged, MOM-Z-14. Its redshift hit 14.44, pulling our gaze even deeper into the universe's infancy. And it wasn't just the distance that made researchers sit up in disbelief, it was the galaxy's appearance. Mom Z14 is unbelievably small, only about 500 light years across. For perspective, the Milky Way is over 100,000 light years wide. Despite its small size, this galaxy blazes with intensity. Galaxies from this early era are usually dim and incredibly difficult to spot, but not this one. Mom Z14 erupts with fresh stars, firing them out like cosmic sparks at the dawn of time. And then there was something even more baffling. It seems to lack a supermassive black hole. Galaxies with such wild star-forming activity almost always contain a gigantic black hole at their core. These beasts shape how galaxies develop, influence star creation, and help sculpt their overall form. Mom Z14, however, appears to break that pattern entirely. And the surprises kept coming. When astronomers examined the galaxy's light using the Webb's spectrograph, they discovered an unexpectedly high amount of nitrogen. A lot of it. This chemical signature echoes the composition of some of the Milky Way's oldest star clusters, implying that Mom Z14 is forging stars inside incredibly packed environments. That kind of behavior wasn't supposed to show up this early in the universe. Galaxies born this early in cosmic history should be chemically bare bones, mostly hydrogen, a dash of helium, and little else. Yet Mom Z14 is shouting a different story. Its elemental mix suggests that several generations of stars had already flared into life and burned out long before we ever detected it. That alone hints that galaxies began maturing far sooner than anyone anticipated. And that leads to an obvious, almost thrilling question. How many more objects like Mom Z14 are hiding out there? Before the Webb telescope came online, astronomers assumed galaxies from this era would be unbelievably scarce. Now, we're finding them far more often than expected. These ancient, dazzling little red dots keep showing up across Webb's deep surveys, almost as if the universe had been waiting for better eyes to reveal them. And although Mom Z14 currently sits on the throne as the most extreme example, there's a growing sense that it won't hold that title for long. That's when the excitement truly kicks in. Every new observation redraws the boundaries of what we thought possible. If galaxies like Mom Z14 were plentiful, forming stars at breakneck speed, and already carrying complex chemistry, then our picture of the early cosmos is missing key pieces. Does this challenge our cosmology? Absolutely. The standard framework says the first galaxies should be rare, slow to grow, and chemically primitive. Mom Z14 is the opposite, energetic, luminous, and unexpectedly sophisticated. That doesn't mean our theories collapse, 
it means they need expanding. Mom Z14 feels like a breadcrumb hinting that the infant universe may have been far busier, louder, and more chaotic than we ever imagined. And this is only the opening act. Before long, the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope will join the Webb Telescope in mapping the young cosmos. Roman will sweep enormous sections of sky with exquisite resolution. Working together, these observatories might reveal hundreds, maybe even thousands, of galaxies like Mom Z14, each one a glowing message from a time we barely understand. For now, though, Mom Z14 stands alone a whisper of light from an age when the universe was still learning how to exist. Yet the more we dig into Webb's discoveries, the more the cosmos seems willing to break our rules. Some researchers examining the data have even floated a bold, mind-bending idea. What if our entire universe resides inside a black hole? Adding to the intrigue, a recent investigation uncovered another odd pattern. Most galaxies appear to spin in the same direction. By studying the curves of their spiral arms, scientists trace the orientation of each galaxy's rotation. In a universe with no preferred direction, those spins should be roughly evenly split. But that's not what the data shows. According to the researchers behind the study, this surprising imbalance, one that doesn't fit neatly into current models, could hint at something deeper, perhaps even supporting the black hole universe concept. To wrap your head around that, you have to recall how black holes behave. When sufficient mass collapses under its own gravity, it forms an event horizon, a point of no return from which not even light can escape. Anything passing that threshold disappears from the outside world forever. What unfolds beyond it remains completely unknown. And that mystery is where black hole cosmology begins its daring exploration. Often called Schwarzschild cosmology, this idea proposes that everything we see, the entire observable universe, could actually exist inside a black hole formed within a much larger parent cosmos. Now think about the Big Bang for a moment. The standard explanation claims the universe began as a singularity, an impossibly dense point, eerily similar to the heart of a black hole. If our universe truly lies within such a structure, then the Big Bang wouldn't have been an explosion in empty space. Instead, it would mark the instant matter in the parent universe collapsed into a black hole, triggering the birth of a new cosmos on the inside. And that leads to an astonishing implication. Every black hole in our universe might be a gateway to its own newborn universe. This framework could even shed light on why the fundamental constants of physics appear so perfectly balanced for life to exist. Universes that emerge from stable, long-lived black holes may be the ones most likely to endure, creating a kind of cosmic natural selection. According to the researchers behind these ideas, this perspective might even solve several long-standing puzzles. For instance, black holes contain enormous entropy, an enormous amount of encoded information, which could mirror the information-rich nature of our own universe. Another piece of the puzzle involves something called torsion. Extended versions of general relativity, such as Einstein-Cartan theory, describe torsion as a twisting effect tied to the intrinsic spin of particles, capable of altering space-time's geometry. Some models propose that this twist creates a repulsive force under extreme densities, preventing matter from collapsing into an infinitely tiny point. If this mechanism is real, then black holes wouldn't shrink into true singularities at all. Instead, the core might reach a critical density, rebound, and expand in a dramatic big bounce. That rebound could ignite a fresh universe within it. The researchers speculate that the rapid outward surge following such a bounce might be the very phenomenon we now call the Big Bang. Not an explosion from nothing, but the aftermath of a collapse and rebirth cycle inside a parent black hole. Such a scenario would completely reshape how we picture the universe's origin, hinting at an endless chain of universes budding off from one another. Another twist is the possibility that our cosmos might quietly point in a particular direction. Observations of large-scale structures hint at subtle alignments in how galaxies distribute their mass and move, patterns that aren't supposed to exist if the universe is perfectly uniform. 
This phenomenon, known as cosmic anisotropy, challenges the cornerstone assumption that the universe looks the same everywhere on vast scales. If a preferred axis really exists, it might reveal undiscovered physics or even connect to how our universe formed inside a black hole, or how the basic forces behave at unimaginable scales. Meanwhile, the presence of massive, mature galaxies so early after the Big Bang continues to upend our expectations about how fast cosmic structures should grow. Of course, the universe inside a black hole idea, as thrilling as it sounds, may not be the only explanation on the table. There's always the chance that some earlier measurements, perhaps even estimates of the Milky Way's rotational speed, weren't as precise as we assumed. Whatever the case, the cosmos keeps getting stranger, and these lopsided galactic rotations are almost certain to push scientists to revisit parts of our current models. So, what are your thoughts? Share your perspective in the comments below. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our channel because this is your universe too.